Hello artists, it's me, Miss Dawn. I am so excited to create with you again today. Today we're gonna to be making your very own monster based off of the story, The Love Monster. So get your paper ready and your pencil and let's get started. I cannot wait to see your monsters. Hello artists, I am so excited to create with you today. We're gonna to be making your own original love monster. We're gonna start off by sketching our monster, so you wanna make sure you draw very light. So hold your pencil really lightly to make light marks so it's easy to erase. Don't forget to pause the video to give yourself time to draw. First, let's sketch the body shape lightly. The shape of your monster does not have to be perfect. So I made a curvy rectangle, or maybe you wanna make a triangle, or an oval, or even a circle. Next up is the eyes. You can really make your eyes however you want. I chose to make mine two different sizes, so I'm just playing around here with where I want to put them. Do I want to put them together or separately? And then we're going to work on the pupils. So you can put your pupils in the middle, or maybe your monster is looking up or to the side. You'll have to decide. You can also give your monster eyelids. Maybe he's sleepy. Next, we're going to work on the mouth. For the mouth, you can make a line straight across, then pick a shape for your tooth. For this one, I made squares that weren't perfect, or you can make them round by making U's, or you can make them sharp by making triangles. Let's give our monster some ears. You can give your monster round ears and add some detail. Or maybe square ears and if you want the inside of the ear to be a different color just repeat that same shape a little bit smaller you can make big pointy ears or even small ears too it's really up to you for this one I chose to give them floppy ears now let's work on the love monster style feet Start by drawing two straight lines down, then ovals for toes, all the way across. Repeat for the other foot. Next, let's give your monster some arms. You can really make your arms however you want. For this one, I have one arm down and one arm waving. I decide to give them some nails, sharp and pointy, and a paw too since the monster is waving towards us. Let's give our love monster a unique detail. The love monster has a heart, so you can always add a heart, or maybe you wanna add a different shape, or maybe something that you like. So just add one special detail to your monster so it still has that love monster style. You can really add whatever special details you want. And here are some ideas too. Maybe your monster is fancy and you give him a top hat by making a rectangle and a line straight across. You could also give your monster a baseball hat by drawing a line across, a sideways U, and an oval on top. You can even include stitches. To make the hat look backwards, draw an upside down U and a line across. You can also make a bow by making a rounded square Starting at the top, draw a curved loop around that's open, then draw a second one underneath. Repeat for the other side. You can trace your drawing in a crayon or a marker. If you want to watercolor your monster, I would use a crayon to trace. As you're filling in the eyes, you could always add a little bit of a shine if you want. Have fun adding color to your monster. When you're finished coloring, I'm gonna show you how to add some texture to your monster. All right, the last step is texture. The first thing you wanna do is add another outline around your whole entire monster, and it's okay if the lines aren't perfectly on top of your original outline. We wanna make it look thick. Next, you can add a bunch of straight lines on top, or I kind of scribbled on top of my lines to make them look really fuzzy. 
Don't forget you can add eyebrows and even eyelashes if you want to. My monster's overly sleepy, so I even add some tired lines underneath. You can even add texture inside your monster that's the same texture you added on the outside. So if you did straight lines, add more straight lines so it looks hairy. I want to make mine look fuzzy, so I added little scribbles and little dots inside. I cannot wait to see your monsters. I had so much fun making these. I made way more than one. It was just too much fun. I hope you had fun too, and I look forward to seeing all of your little love monsters.